So before we go over to, to the, the floor, um, I'd just like to, to ask Peter Ferguson to say a few words now. But Peter has recently joined the Committee of Eighties Ireland. I know he's been active here for a few years, and we're really delighted to, to have him aboard. He, he's um, he's a, a, an excellent uh, writer on secular issues, and um, and has also made some valuable contributions in recent times to, to uh, the uh, Constitutional Convention, and has been involved in, in a. a Debate in UCD recently, that was that where, where um, he, he was very impressive as well. So we're really pleased to have, have Peter on board. And I'd like to ask Peter to, uh, to just say a few words about from the perspective of somebody who has been through more recently than we have through this sort of the university academic setting, like uh, what, what, how he thinks that this that the, the education system uh, could be fixed or improved in, in, in towards towards a secular direction, and, and what people in universities might be able to do to to help make that happen. Look, like the overwhelming majority of Irish people, I was raised a Catholic. I was baptised, communed, confirmed, without any real choice in the matter about ever being offered any alternatives. Luckily now, with Educate Together, they are doing um, multi-domination schools. They are teaching about different other religions, so children aren't just being pushed to one religion constantly. But there still isn't any information out there about atheism, and that's why I think one of the more exciting projects with atheist Ireland is for a secular education and teaching about atheism. Because, for instance, when I was nine, ten years of age, I kind of asked an awkward question to a priest of where God came from. And being a persistent child, I kind of asked a few times because the answer he was giving me wasn't satisfactory to me. And eventually, when the priest left, I was given out to and punished by the teacher for asking so many questions. And I'm assuming a lot of people who brought up in taught in uh, Catholic education have similar enough experience where you were just asking questions, especially in religion, was a big no-no. And I think that's, you know, a real detriment to any sort of education. And also another, um, and I just thought it was, there was a, one Protestant child in our whole school and I, that child wasn't given his human rights whatsoever. He was forced, every time we went to Mass, he was forced to attend. And when we were doing a communion confirmation, we were just done through the school he was forced to sit down the back of the church. And that's essentially just a blatant denial of his human rights. So that's why this uh, project by Atheist Ireland I think is very, very exciting. Another aspect about it as well is it gets rid, rid of the stigma of atheism because even nowadays when people say, oh, I'm an atheist, I get people roll their eyes or they're kind of like, what's that? Or, or you're not one of those, are you? Or so on. It's not so bad in Ireland as it is in the States, but it's still pretty bad in Ireland that people hear the word atheist and they just, it's, it's this, there's this stigma attached to it. And so introducing uh, to young children the concept of atheism will remove that stigma and remove also misconceptions of what atheism is, the fact that, you know, we apparently have no morals, we have no guiding principles, we're just angry at God, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's another exciting aspect of this project as well. Uh, but what I'm working on as well is, is in... Um, is I'm trying to develop, I set up this, uh, this society here in NUI and I'm hoping to develop more across Ireland because just as introducing atheism to young students can remove the stigma and misconceptions of atheists, I think people, young people in universities and doing projects like this can also achieve the same goals because as people come out more about being atheists, they realise, all oh, right, you know, John's such a lovely guy, oh, he happens to be an atheist, you know, maybe atheists don't have devil horns coming out of their head and stuff like that. And it's just, that's, it also kind of, um, we need to challenge the kind of monopoly the religion has in society in general. And by establishing uh, university societies and trying to hold events and um, trying to do drives, etc., that kind of helps to go along the way of, of challenging the, the religion in our society and to basically to, just the amount of power it holds in, in certain aspects. And particularly if, you know, in rural areas where there's um, a very low number of atheists and if you are in a rural area, you have no choice but to send your child to a Catholic school. So I think um, the more atheists become involved in society and the more uh, vocal and public they are about their atheism, the better. And also of education is definitely one of the key aspects to that in both university and both primary school is basically just no matter what age you are you can be educated about atheism and obviously just the more people are educated about atheism 
the better it is for atheists in general. And not just atheists, but minority religions even as well. Like We just need more information. Because at the moment, this is Catholic information is out there the whole time, and a lot of it, especially when it's about minority faiths or non-religious people, it's the information out there is just false, or just shrouded in misconceptions. And basically, we just need to challenge that constantly in primary school and universities. And that's my role is to try and set up university groups so we can achieve that goal.